Good, e good evening and welcome to Roundtable. Today we have with us Mr. H.K. Kamal Patmasiri. He is the Director General of the Sri Lanka Institute of Advanced Technical Education, the SLIET. So good evening, good uh, evening. Mr. Patmasiri. Yes. Uh, we are happy to have you with us today. Yes. And we also want to find out initially to start off the discussion, what is the role of the SLIET and how did it all uh, start? Yeah, actually our main role is we are producing uh, higher national diploma and national diploma holders for Sri Lankan economy. This institute uh, started on 1997 mainly that uh, act number 29th of uh, 1995 parliament has passed. And then uh, what is the vision and mission of SLIAD? Yeah, actually we have a corporate plan. We developed in 19, uh, 2006 our new corporate plan. Under that we have a vision to become the center of excellence in technological education in Sri Lanka. Right, now you are the Director General of SLIET. Yes. So, uh, Mr. Patmasari, do give an introduction to you about yourself and about your background and how did you come to this point? Yeah, actually uh, I came in 2006. I am a member of the Sri Lanka Administrative, uh, Administrative Service. Uh, I started my career in 1987. Now actually we com uh, I completed 23 years and I am uh, selective grade Sri Lanka Administrative Service member. So from the Sri Lanka Administrative Service uh, yeah. member to now you are the uh, yeah. Director General. Yeah. So as a, a new Director General, uh, may I also ask you now you said the vision is also to have uh, cater to this uh, market where they are just after A levels is it? Yeah. Is that yeah. the target group of yes. this particular institution? Yeah, mainly uh, that vision, I mentioned that center of excellence in technological education. Mm. Our mission mainly creating excellent higher national diplomats uh, that competent in modern technology for sustainable development. I think you can see uh, what is the, that competent in modern technology. Mm. You know that uh, present trends of the world, they are mainly focus, uh, focusing on that modern technology that we have a very good lit, uh, literacy rate and we have a very good primary education system and we have a very good secondary education system and we need develop very good tertiary education system. That is why we included in our mission that competent in modern technology for sustainable development. When you say sustainable development, what is exactly the definition of sustainable development? Yeah, actually that uh, this is the very uh, vast area, but I can say that the simple thing is that we need competent human resources to develop our country, our growth rate and uh, that our economy uh, mainly based on the human resource uh, base. How we will develop the human resources, that is why I mentioned. We are focused on the tertiary education. The ter tertiary education can give uh, competent graduates and competent diplomats for countries' development. So, how is the SLIET different from the universities? Yeah, it is a very good question you ask. Actually, we are Minister of Higher Education. Under the Minister of Higher Education, we have uh, two institutions. One is the University Grant Commission. Uh, they are mainly focused on the university education. They have uh, 15 universities now. They are mainly maintain universities. That other area, non-university education, we are mainly focused on that Sri Lanka Institute of Advanced Technological Education and the Ministry of Higher Education. We are selecting advanced level qualified students. 
advanced level qualified students who could not enter the university, yeah, is it? That's it. So, uh, if you take the statistics, how many students are we talking about? We know uh, in the universities, about uh, 20,000 or more can be accommodated by the university. Yeah. So, how many are we talking about, the target group? Yeah, mainly, I think that uh, when we uh, see last year our uh, advanced level results, we can see uh, 1,800 students eligible for universities, right? Mm -hmm. But university sector selected only 20,000 because yeah, we have… You mean 108,000, is it? Yeah, 180,000 yeah. and selected only 20,000. Right. Rest of the other students, actually they uh, need private or public sector institution to complete their tertiary education and higher education, that our institution is the one institution. In addition to that government sector, we have some institution, they mainly focus on the uh, diploma and higher national diploma program, uh, in addition to private sector institutions. Right. Nowadays, we can see a uh, large number of private uh, institutions, they catering uh, diploma courses higher national diploma courses in addition to uh, degree courses also. Right. So, how many students do you have? Because I think uh, by the statistics you said, it's yeah. more than 100,000 students that we are looking at, the ones yeah. who are qualified to go to university but who do not enter university because of capacity issues yeah. and who are qualified A-levels yeah. is about more than 100,000. Yeah. So, you're looking at that particular target group. Yeah. So, how many students uh, actually get enrolled in uh, under the SLIET? How many do you have per se year? Yeah. Well, actually that uh, we have a corporate plan, I mentioned earlier, mm -hmm. mainly that uh, under this corporate plan, uh, that 2009, we targeted 8,500 students, actually we achieved that target. Mm -hmm. That 2010, we targeted 11,300. Likewise, our corporate plan, that 2013, our target is that 20,638. Right. So, I the reason why you have to go gradually, is it because of capacity issues? Definitely. Actually, that uh, nowadays we have uh, 12 institutions all over the country, but in next few years, we will establish another five institutions, especially uh, under the World Bank 21st century project. They agreed to give three institutions for our umbrella organization, mainly the deep north, one is that Vaunia, actually we have uh, uh, advanced technological education in Jaffna, but northern area we have only one institution, that eastern area we have only one institution, that is why we explained that World Bank to give another institution, actually they agreed and I think next year we can start the construction at Vaunia. So, in right addition now, to how you said it's how many? Uh, Twelve institutions, institutions. institutions are there. Next year, we can we will start that Vaunia. Uh, that's deep north. And in you were addition back to uh, from Jaffna like yesterday, right? Yesterday, yes. So, yeah. what uh, what was the reason for that? Mainly that uh, is a very good question you ask. Actually, uh, we inaugurated higher national diploma in. Uh, information technology field event program at, uh, at, at Jaffna. Yeah, that Sunday we inaugurated that program. I am surprised actually that uh, we received 320 application, but we selected six, 60 students for that. Uh, the re this. What was the reason for the selection process? Well, yeah. actually this you know that uh, uh, information technology program mainly based on the IT laboratories, right? That we have a IT lab, uh, two IT laboratories there. Uh, we can enter that 60 students per time. So it is the, again the capacity issue. Yeah. So is yeah. it the first time that something like this happened in Jaffna under SLIET? Uh, actually, that uh, we have a higher national diploma in IT program that pre of charge, but feeling in one, we started 
in first time. Uh, so already there is a, a free of charge IT uh, diploma 